Alright guys, welcome back. This is the first map I'm going to show you how to kite. This is Santa's Evil Lair. Now, like I said in my introduction video, knowing a good kiting path isn't going to be good enough to survive. Because sometimes Zeds will clog your main path, your main kiting path. And you're going to need to divert to a different area of the map and try to get back to that path. I'm going to demonstrate it in Wave 10. I'm going to skip to wave 10 after I show you, you know, what you need to do in the first couple of waves. So from the spawn, take a right and go through the tunnel here. Now here's a good alternate path. You don't, if it's clogged like this, there's another tunnel you can take here. And see how they kind of went over there and now you're back on your main path. This is just a mini diversion. There's going to be many times where you'll need to go to a different area just to stay alive. You'll see that in wave 10 where I divert multiple times due to flesh pounds and other enemies that are just about to kill me. Now dealing with these bloats, I like to go alternate fire here, overhead swing with the axe. Two, two hits will take him out on suicidal, which this is the difficulty I'm playing on. One thing you're definitely going to want to do when you heal yourself is cancel out the long animation that's unnecessary. Heal yourself and immediately switch to your melee weapon. This will cancel out the long and unnecessary animation and will keep you alive longer. At the end of wave one, head to the trader and sell your axe. Then buy the katana. You will have this weapon up until you have enough money to buy the claymore, which you'll buy that, and you'll have that for the rest of the playthrough. You are generally going to want to get back to the spawn, because you want to be right at the beginning of the kiting path, if anything, just for a routine. You don't want to deviate too much at the beginning, especially if you're just learning a map. If you're at the beginning of a spawn, this gives you kind of a comfortable feeling knowing, okay, I'm at the beginning of this path, now I know how to go. If you're caught in the middle of the map or somewhere else, that's when you're going to get surrounded and, and you'll be dead in no time. By wave 7, make sure you buy some pipe bombs. Now as a berserker you're only allowed to carry two, but this should be adequate enough because there's only one flesh pound that will spawn in wave 7. But in wave 10 you're going to need a couple of uh, pipe bombs because I two spawn in wave 10. One thing you definitely do not want to do is jeopardize the staircase because if you wait too long they will become clogged on the staircase and you will never survive. You'll never get to the bottom of the staircase. Make sure you have that area clear. And like I said, as long as you don't spend too much time in one area, it's likely they won't spawn on the staircase but you're still going to get some and you're going to have to know how to deal with it.
Now I tried to plant a bomb here for the flesh pound, but it didn't pan out. Sometimes you just aren't going to get him. But try to plant them in areas where you're guaranteed to get him in, in most cases. I make a better decision here. This is trouble. This is what you do not want. It's clogged with the husks and, and gingerbread cookies and you just get it. If this happens, just try to get the hell out of there. And you see, this is my first diversion. I can't get back to the original kiting path. So I have to divert. This is the path you want to take if your original path is blocked. Take a right up here and look for an opening there's a dead body in front of this opening so it's a, a reference point for you right here and now you're back to the original kiting path once you see these stairs up here this is what you just have to do you have to know the map very well because it's not always going to be a perfect path you're gonna have to divert This is what you do not want to happen. If he corners you, if a flesh pound corners you, it's usually going to be your death. I was somehow able to s escape this, but this is not a good example to show you. Try to keep moving. If you get stuck on anything, it's probably going to be a bad situation. Because the enemies work very well together. They're a cohesive unit. If a siren makes your vision blurry, then a, a, a crawler will jump on you. And then a, a clot will hurt you. It's just, it, they work together very well. So you must keep on the move all the time. Except for the little bit of times where you're going to go back and kill them. But for the most part, you must keep moving to survive. Number one rule in killing four solo is you must keep moving or you will die. Now keep in mind, I don't. I try to heal myself here, and I don't get the heal because I canceled the animation too quickly. You have to kind of get a feel for it. Sometimes you just want to make sure you get it. Wait until you hear the little sound of him injecting himself, and then cancel the animation. Scrakes are pretty easy to deal with the claymore. Uh, with the claymore. Just hit them and back up with alt-fire. Three hits will take one out. And that concludes the first kiting method for Santa's evil lair. I will be back with the abusement park next.